Hello, everybody. We're doing an outside read. Hooray. So there may be some gusts of wind. And of course, there's an empty chair right there. Um, it is probably almost 70 degrees where I am right now. So I'm going to shuffle while I talk. And this is one of my favorite things to do for you guys and myself as well is be outside. I feel like ah, it's like an ah moment. It's so beautiful. And I'm in my backyard. Oh, there's our volleyball net and court, if you can see it. My son has just decided that um, that's one of his new passions, and he's quite good at it, so um, I'm excited. And it's weird. It's sort of like a, a family thing. I feel like most people in my family are good at it. So we're going to see like what some of um, the messages and energy is for you that's coming in April, because it's right around the corner. And personally, I feel that energetically speaking, things are much smoother they're more like like in a cycle that um, we're going to be able to deliver what we want to deliver to our families, ourselves, the universe in a very concise, calm, methodical way. Like the rushing's going to stop. Something happens right at the turn of winter when we move into spring where all of a sudden people feel that it's it's like the spring clean urge but it becomes frantic at times because we want to get rid of everything that's not working we want to take in what is working and um we can be um a little impatient about it i know that i have been lately too and um you know it doesn't really serve our, our any it doesn't serve our highest good it doesn't serve our peace of mind when we're rushed we need to take in the beauty like I, I was kind of in a little bit of a mood because I had to drive across town and go get hay and it was so beautiful and I wanted to be outside. I wanted to go do what I wanted to do, go down the beach and film for you. And so I started to get, you know, the sorry sallies. And then as soon as I got in the car, immediately, it's funny, I'm wearing Archang my Archangel Michael medallion. And it was like, listen, if you have to stop and get him a sandwich, look for things that are along the way. Don't go out of your so right away I found the perfect place right on the way and all these answers just came as I was driving so I felt calm and I felt good so um you know the answers are there when we look for them and we calm down and we're more peaceful so definitely I'm going to take a breath so angels and archangels please help us find some messages and thank you for this beautiful day so ooh, oh gee I wonder what's going to be happening in April for you I cannot stipulate enough how much crazy love potion number nine is going around for everybody and how everybody, you know what it is? It's like spring fever. You get out of the house, you realize all of a sudden you don't have heavy boots and shoes anymore. You get to wear sandals and flip flops. Everything is lighter. Our heart is lighter. Our outlook is lighter. Everything is lighter. And guess what? That makes our, vib our vibration and our frequency go up, up, up and away. So yeah, you're going to have some cool new intimate relationships. Um, you're going to make good good decisions this time around and please you guys I can't emphasize enough please come over to my patreon page a course that will normally cost you a hundred dollars in the near future when I do it publicly is a dollar on my patreon page to join my patreon page you also support the channel and this new information and it's so fun and your comments are so awesome because I have people in the field using these techniques and it's ridiculous after eight days it's like I have people saying I love you can you come see me I can't wait to see you I hope you're safe just unbelievable results so it's this type of energy oh and look at this as well wow so again keep your eye out and be be direct you know if you like somebody don't play any games I mean we're not talking about you're like oh guess what you're cool you're mine <laughs> not that type of thing but be direct and be like you know I find you interesting would you like to go for a cup of coffee or to um Phuket <laughs> So, yeah, Ace of Air, brilliant new ideas and inspirations. You got the Ace of Swords. There's another thing that's happening. It's almost groundbreaking in its conception. It's like this thing that comes in and what at one point seemed like an absolute impossibility to you. What, like, oh, my God, that's so far-fetched. That will take so much engineering work. That'll take, you know, so, so much stepping stones to implement all this stuff. Is now you're going to simplify. You're going to have this amazing capacity to just simplify everything and that is the type of day that works brilliantly for me when I ABC one two three and I always work in threes 
I wake up, I'm like, guess what? First I'm going to work on Patreon, then I'm going to do private reads, then I'm going to do public reads, and then I check them off and it feels good. And I'm like, wow, I still have the majority of the day left because I was systematic, I didn't overwhelm myself. That's what starts, um, you know, the prevarication or the procrastination is overwhelming ourselves, thinking that's an impossibility. There's way too many facets to this. So simplifying, I mean, look at architecture. People obviously don't go, well, here's the plans, let's do it. You know what I mean? It's we got to start from the, the foundation. We have to lay the foundation foundation right we're going to get that you're going to get the results you want by going in about it in a very um simplified way this is crazy these are this is not so yeah the wheel this is what i feel is going to be one of the most impactful times in your spiritual growth i feel for a lot of you so many of you have been contacting me connecting with me and going you know melanie i just feel like i have almost a sense of fever i feel like i'm kind of a little loopy i'm hearing seeing tasting smelling all of those all of those things and I had that the other day and that was a rarity for me I'm, I'm Claire audience and I hear all my messages but quite often Claire sentient when I get in my car I'm always aware of things before they occur in that regard but on um, the other day it was like I was tasting smart food popcorn all day and it was the weirdest thing I went on Instagram I'm like is anybody eating this it was so bizarre it was like that that very specific taste but I feel that the your perspective is shifting so you're now accepting of these gifts and these notions that we're all connected that we're all sharing energy and that we're all um, ascending in some way and um, we affect each other in that way right that's why we have to be careful in the energy we bring out into the world I have a big bird's nest that's in the tree right behind the camera and one of the robins just came out and is just looking. We have cardinals. I live near a bird sanctuary. So we have cardinal, cardinals, we have blue jays, and birds are my animals. I find peace and sanctuary and balance in them. I think they're miraculous. Hummingbirds, please, I'll die. So even flamingos, what a weird bird, right? They're so cool. But really, think, think how you've been feeling lately. Have you woken up sometimes just like a little excited for something and not known why and been like, you know, you're... Um, anticipating something wonderful is about to happen that's this it's these messages your intuition going not only is everything going to be all right but it's going to be pretty spectacular in a lot of degrees and I feel like a lot of you people that have been struggling financially I'm hearing too that you're going to have um, money coming in a, in quick succession and it's money that you either lent to others or you invested in and you almost thought you forgot it and or in court cases that has just sort of been pending and this money is coming your way you're the winner in this outcome and you also have this lovely um, divine guidance that when you get worked up or you get overwhelmed it talks you down it talks you off that ledge it talks you into that calm space yeah, it's a super, super time for renewal. It is for me as well. I feel like we're all connected to these degrees, and my clients go in waves together how they feel. It's remarkable. Yesterday was a high anxiety a day for a high anxiety, and also um, it was like anybody that had any kind of nervous disorder that I work with was heavily on the computer with me like I don't know and they felt like they didn't trust people so comment too if you felt very mistrustful of people yesterday like people really thought people co-workers were out for them they were talking about them all these things so it was a weird strange cosmic alignment yesterday in terms of not trusting what other people were doing and we have to face it as a reality people don't always have our best interests in heart because they want to come out on top it's a primal kind of surge for that right they want to win they want to um they, you know, they want to come out ahead. Nobody wants to suffer by comparison. And sometimes they go about it in some kind of diabolical means. Speaking of that, I was watching Dragon Ball Z Kai. I'm like so into that. Hi, Hops. Like, I love it. They're so weird. And, and the, the philosophy of them and the fact that they're 50, but they look like they're 12 cracks me up. Oh, I like this. Okay, so let me give this a... Yeah. Part of this, yeah. You have the peacekeeper card, which is really saying, listen, let go, let go of everything in squabbles and the need to be right. I feel like that's one of our biggest downfalls when our ego comes in that we have to be right. I'll give you an example. I was just driving home with Hagen and I just, uh, um, he was telling me all, all about his stuff. So I was trying to buoy him and get him in a better mood because they didn't win the match. And I said, and I, and I know some sports, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I want him to share what's going on. So I just mentioned something. And he's like, that's not how it works, mom. But like in a really snarky thing. And I said, first of all, don't speak to me like that. I stopped to get you food, which you complained about. I drove across town, which took me a half hour. And you don't need to speak to me like that. All of a sudden, he's very sensitive. He's so sweet. He's such a Leo. And I realized he was tired and he didn't sleep. And he was so sweet. All the way. He, he blushes. So his face got all ready. He's like, I'm sorry, mom. He's like, I appreciate you driving and doing this. And then right away 
I realize that, you know, that's a knee-jerk reaction for so many people to just bark back. They, they have to, you know, they want to get a point across and they become impatient. So, and the important thing is, is that, um, you know, we recognize the ego that wants to be right, it wants to be loud, it wants to be all those things, and we need that happy medium. So many people, like, oscillate between low self-esteem and loathing who they are into just a super ego. It makes no sense to me, you know, like, it, it's berserk. And then, you know, they always have to be right and everybody else is wrong, or they're always wrong. It's like there's a happy medium where you do your best, you do well, but you're humble about it, right? You don't have to tell everybody um, what time it is just because you have a watch. Now, I love this. The Sage card, this is my favorite card in this deck because when you're devoted and focused on something, especially when it's for the good of others and yourself, it's beneficial health-wise, mentally, and spiritually-wise, everybody benefits because you come from a place of um, authentic, authentic caring and loving and good intentions. And when you do that, you come out ahead. I don't care karmically what comes around goes around. I would, I will tell you some stories at some point, but because I am so public and I have so many followers, um, those people would know that I'm talking about them, so I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to, but suffice it to say that they were unkind and rude and um, they have a pretty hard life now. And, um, you know, it's like I get to do exactly what I want and in a wonderful way and connect with you amazing people and be able to earn my living at it and wake up every day excited and they don't and it's because they only have a myopic vision of what is and what can be where we're expanding if you're watching me and you're watching these these types of um, channels you're realizing that it's time for expansion it's time for growth it's time for understanding and you're you're succumbing to that beautiful um, flow of receiving receiving good information and using it the right way so that's what's in store for you guys for April I mean be every time you feel like you're gonna go up here and you want to say that thing like be quiet or you want to snap take a deep breath and say what is this going to result in how does this serve my higher self but I that's what I do before I eat too I'm like how, what is this going to result in a stomach ache is this going to result in extra weight is this going to you know result in too much fat or sugar that my body doesn't need all those things before things go in and out think you know what you're taking in information i don't put on the news i don't put on things that are horrible and horrifying because we don't need that energy right so be careful what you're putting in and what you're putting out and, and you really are going to be and you're going to be a lovely person to be around and you're going to be people are going to seek your company because of this and so that's you guys for April. I'm very excited. So I'm just going to do that regular read outside because pick a card's kind of hard while you're sitting and everything. But I wanted to be outside and just, it's so beautiful. So I love you guys. Seriously, if, you, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below for private reads. Those take precedence. I finish those within you know, 24, 48 hours. And please, please, please go over to my Patreon channel because this course is going to get rather expensive later because it's time consuming. But I corralled it all to be able to put it in Patreon for people. And for a little as a dollar, you support my channel and you get all this information. And it is getting crazy results. And how it works, if you hadn't heard it before, it's basically we react emotionally to how people make us feel, right? When we see a movie that's so, so good and we feel so great, we want to go back for the sequel, right? It's how to get people to return to you for your sequel. But you, this is in terms of love, how to keep people interested, keep them piqued. Um, you ever go out on a date or with somebody, and it's like you can't even really remember what they said. It's because they lack animation and feeling. They're playing it so safe because they don't want to stick out or seem ridiculous. But these are phrases that make you stay in someone's mind and make them crave you and want to come back and reconnect with you. And I have the results there of a text from one of the people that just is work uh, she's working with me she's my friend and she authentically likes this fellow and she's using these and I have his emails and they instantly went to he can't get enough of, of speaking to her knowing she's all right what's she doing all these things and it's really beautiful and he even said yesterday that he he thinks he's crazy but he feels like he loves her already and this is eight days so go check it out I'm serious it is mind-blowing stuff so love and light to you guys Mwah. It's all you